Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 8th, and I'm going to say it again. I hope to goodness that's the right date, because even though we've been doing the calendar every day, it hasn't really sunk in yet. So, today's read aloud goes with Buddy Trouble that we read on Monday about the character Ralph and his sister Liza. Oh, in the mom. Then yesterday we read more Bunny Trouble with Ralph and his little sister Emily. And today is the last book in the series. It's called Bad, Bad Bunny Trouble by Hans Wilhelm. And oh, I think I see that fox, that character the fox from last... Oh wait, there's two foxes, three! Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. All right, let's see what happens. Bad, Bad Bunny Trouble by Hans Wilhelm. Now, I want to show you the back of this book because this book is such a well-loved book. I read it every year to my students that it's starting to fall apart. So I apologize if it falls apart in the middle of me reading this. Bad, Bad Bunny Trouble by Hans Wilhelm. And Hans Wilhelm is the author and the illustrator of this book. So he did the words and the pictures. Ralph was a bunny who loved soccer more than anything else in the whole wide world. He could play all day long and he never wanted to stop. Ralph, come inside now, his mother called. You have to get dressed for your sister's birthday party. Rat, said Ralph. It was the last thing he wanted to do. We know from the other books that he really likes soccer, don't we? Look how dirty you are, scolded his mother. Quick, go upstairs and change. The guests will be here any minute. Ralph saw that his mother was putting the candles on the birthday cake for Liza. She had also bought a coffee cake. Ralph wondered how it tasted. Ralph was still angry at having to leave his soccer game. This party would be more fun if we could just play soccer instead of sing silly songs, he grumbled. We'll probably play silly musical chairs or pin the silly tail on the silly donkey. Ralph took his time getting ready. He was the last one to join the party. Look at his face. He is not happy. So, so far for characters, we have Ralph's mom and Ralph. And I wonder if this is Liza or little Emily. Let's see. After everyone sang happy birthday, Ralph's mother was ready to cut the cakes. Ralph said, I want a piece of coffee cake. No, you can't have coffee cake, said his mother. It's for the grown-ups. The birthday cake is for the children. But I don't want birthday cake. I want coffee cake, Ralph cried and stomped his feet. No, his mother said again. Ralph was so angry he could not control himself. He did something awfully horrible. If I can't have it, then nobody can, he said, and he spit on the cake. That did it. Now Ralph was in bad, bad trouble. Oh my goodness. If I was Ralph's mom and he spit on the cake I was going to serve, I would be super, super upset with him. I hope none of you ever do that. Ralph, how could you, his mother gasped. Up to the attic this instant, I'll deal with you later. Ralph's cheeks were burning as he stomped up to the attic, but he really didn't mind. The attic was the workshop where all the rabbits decorated Easter eggs. It was a nice big room, just perfect for working on his fancy footwork. Suddenly, Ralph heard horrifying screams outside, and from the distance came a terrifying chant. My goodness, I wonder what it is. This book is kind of scary. Tasty bunnies, hop, 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 are delicious in the pot. Simmered, boiled, or as a stew, watch out, here we come for you. Oh my goodness. Looking out the window, Ralph saw three large, savage foxes. Now, Everyone was in bad, bad trouble. Boy, those foxes look scary. Look, there's Ralph in the window.
Downstairs there was a great trembling and crying. The rabbits locked the windows and bolted the doors. Then they all went down into the cellar, which was the safest, safest place. In all the commotion, everyone forgot about Ralph. Look, so they all went down into the basement, but poor Ralph is still up in the attic. Uh-oh. Ralph had to think fast. He picked up a big basket of eggs and threw them out the window. When the attacking foxes came running, they slipped and slid and skidded and toppled and crashed into each other, into the gooey mess of broken eggs. The foxes were not ready for this. Badly bruised and covered with slimy egg whites, they looked up and saw Ralph laughing in the attic window. They whispered among themselves, then disappeared into the bushes. Do you think that the foxes are gone? I don't know. I think my prediction is that they're going to come back with maybe a ladder or something. Soon, the three foxes returned with a long, long ladder. They started to climb up to the attic window, but Ralph was prepared. He had lined up all the pails of Easter egg dye, and one by one, he dumped them all over the foxes, first yellow, then blue, then violet, and finally a big pail of bright red dye. This was too much for the foxes. Grumbling, they slunk back into the bushes. Victory, cried Ralph, and he kicked his soccer ball across the room. Do you think those foxes are going to come back? I don't know. I don't know if I would come back if I was a fox, if I looked like that. But in the next moment, Ralph heard and felt heavy thumps. Everything in the room started shaking. Now what was happening? The foxes were back, and they were still trying to get in. Thump, thump, thump. We're coming through to have a bunny barbecue. Ralph knew that now he needed some help. He thought of Brutus the bull inside the barn, but the barn was so far away. There's just one chance, he thought. Ralph pl placed his soccer ball on the windowsill. This would be the most important kick he had ever made. Ralph gave it all he had. The ball arced and soared and disappeared into the open window of the barn. Ha, 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 you missed us, laughed the foxes, and they gave the door another big thump. I wonder why Ralph wanted to get Brutus the bull to come out. Huh. Inside the barn, the animals were enjoying their afternoon snooze when the ball sailed through the window. It bounced off the rooster's tail. Yike a doodle doo, he cried as the ball headed for the hen. Squawk! cried the startled hen, who accidentally laid an egg. Who did she lay an egg on? That poor little pig doesn't know what's going on. Oh, I see Brutus the bull here. Which dropped on the pig and made the little piglets squeal with laughter. They giggled so hard that they knocked over the milk can. Milk splashed all over the billy goat. Shaking and trying to kick himself dry, the goat woke up the sheep and scared them so much they fell against the ladder, which toppled over and knocked down bales of hay, which fell on... Who, what do you think the bales of hay fell on? Or who do you think? Brutus the bull. Brutus had a terrible temper, and he didn't like to have his nap interrupted Boy, he does look mean, doesn't he? He broke through the pen and crashed out the barn door. He was so mad that nothing could have stopped him. There was only one thing Brutus hated more than being disturbed when he was napping. The color red. And that was precisely what he saw when he stormed out into the yard. What do you think he saw that was red? Let's see. Three fire engine red foxes. Brutus galloped after them and made them howl and run for their lives. Ralph knew that now the foxes were gone for good. boy!" Brutus, he called from the window. We did it. So who was it that saved all the bunnies? Ralph, yeah. The danger was over. The rabbits climbed out of the cellar. 
When they found out what Ralph had done, they gave him a big cheer. Then the happy rabbit celebrated not only Liza's birthday, but also their good fortune. Liza told everybody, Ralph must be the greatest soccer player in the world. Nobody else could have made a kick like that. So I think there's the mom, maybe, and Emily and Ralph and Liza, or Liza, Ralph, and Emily. After everyone had a piece of birthday cake, they all played a great game of soccer. So I think they forgave Ralph since he saved them, but I don't think Ralph should have done that in the first place. Spit on the cake, right? Because that's not cool. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have a new book.